you know, why haven't we built any pyramids? Whoa. Dude, you are asking some powerful questions right now. It's because we can't. The reason we haven't built any pyramids is not because we can't. It would be ridiculously expensive, take up a ton of manpower, because there's just no reason to. Why haven't we? Because it's a matter of, why the fuck would we? No more? We don't need any pyramids, or otherwise uh, accoutrement to the pyramids. Our, Our culture does not demand pyramid. We have no purpose for them anymore. Why don't we extrapolate your logic here a little bit? I'm gonna be upfront with you. That's kind of a self-read right there. Piece of evidence number 36 that uh, <laughs> has no background in other things we actually need. And as a physicist, my guy. Is not because there's just no reason to. No, no, it, it's a matter of why the fuck would we? Have acoustic and mechanical vibration dampers and canceling effect temples. It's a matter of damping out all the mechanical vibrations and acoustics that go into the ground. All the things we do, those vibrations will continue to add up and will continue to keep resonating the earth and cause problems that could lead to earthquakes, volcanoes, all the the calamities and like i'm not even telling you to take my word for it here like there was an actual earthquake from a taylor swift concert from a bunch of people jumping up and down on a single location putting vibrations into the ground basic wave mechanics and physics this is not impossible oh, holy shit what the fuck honestly that's kind of a powerful purpose for the pyramids it's a damper it's an acoustic damper just like how on a muffler we use Helmholtz resonators, they allow for the frequencies that they resonate at to be absorbed or attenuated and or dampened out and or reversed or canceled out by interference with the continuous wave. Whoa, powerful. What those temples are for are for high pass or low pass filters. So you can see when we look at the side profile of this temple, we were calling bells are actually Helmholtz resonators for all the vibrations in the ground. And that's why they're not empty. They're, they have to be solid because the ground vibrations will travel up into it if it's solid and there won't be a change in index of refraction as it goes from one medium into like an air pocket. So it being solid makes it a part of the ground resonator. Oh, holy shit, what the fuck? I'm pretty sure that the reason there's so many layers for the different eras are for how they needed to dampen out the earth for the different societies that have existed in time. Each society had different vibrations according to the way they arranged themselves, the way they did their industry, the way they, they traveled, the way they danced, the way they did their festivals, everything at every generation or every epoch, you would have a, you would need a different kind of damper. That's why it would have to be changed. Whoa. I think that's what's coming. I think we need to figure out how to do what we need to do for this with our lands today. Powerful. Because we put different vibrations in the ground than our ancestors, and we need to figure out how to dampen the ones that we put into the ground. Oh, holy shit, what the fuck? Now, it's not a coincidence that this is located on a volcanic fault line. Why would you put it there? Because you need to dampen out any of the vibrations from our society that are might contribute to that fault line having other problems. You know, why haven't we built any pyramids? For damping out those powerful vibrations will cause problems. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I know Graham Hancock said it. At Absolutely wrong. To large coverage to a mainstream audience. I'm, I'm so, so pissed, pissed too. because now it does shit like this. We can't even recognize the actual cool, you know, historical facts about 500 BC. They had the mathematics, they had the physics, they had the waves, they had the music theory for it. And so we got fucking Alpha Sig here talking about the reason we haven't built any pyramids is we have no purpose for them anymore. And I'm sitting here saying with all my other content, talking about how you put vibrations into the ground, you cause culminated other vibrations in other places. You shake things in one place in the earth, or you have multiple places shaking things in a coordinated fashion. All those waves will add up. This is the basis for phased array beam focusing. You shake things on the earth and it creates big waves elsewhere. You cause earthquakes, lightning strikes, tsunamis. Oh, tsunamis. You can control waves. You can stop anyone who's coming over the ocean with tsunamis. The reason we haven't built any pyramids is because there's just no reason to. Like, no. Just no. No. It's not, no. I'm not even going to entertain it because no. You don't have to listen to him, buddy. But why haven't we built any pyramids other than... For damping out all the mechanical vibrations and acoustics that go into the ground that could lead to earthquakes, volcanoes, and will continue to cause problems. You can think for yourself. Interesting, huh? It's also not that difficult. Now, you can also sit here and go, but Charles, how would you know that these ancients had this kind of technology? A pyramid or something. This seems kind of crazy. Well, first off, all of our wave mechanics that goes into the exact calculations for all of this 
literally was invented by Pythagoras in 500 BC. 500 BC, they had the mathematics, they had the physics, they had the waves, they had the music theory for it. But still, we don't know they had this technology. Romans had to go out of step when crossing over bridges. Why did they have to do that? Because of resonance. You mean to tell me, I like, I dare any one of you to look me in the eye and tell me that one of those brilliant generals or whatever they call them in the Roman army, one of those brilliant generals didn't see that happen with one of their soldier marches across a bridge and go right to the Caesar and go, sir, do I have a weapon for you? Their weapon was marching their legions across the earth. The vibrations put into the ground. Listen, Graham Hancock said, just no. No. Buddy, you can think for yourself. It's really simple. Like, it's, it's almost becoming comically simple to me that, that like, I've been getting called schizophrenic for even thinking. One, this basic wave mechanics in physics could even work, let alone the ancients had this stuff. It at least gives me to, like, 200, 200 0 AD or a couple, couple hundred BC at least. Especially if we've got 500 BC for Pythagoras. And that's if he didn't get it from somewhere else. Do you guys see? Do you see what I'm saying here? Okay, so upon further looking, I guess there's no proof that the Romans knew about the bridge resonance. But come on, they, they made the next advancement in bridges for the semicircular. Or what were they doing that they needed to make them stronger? Hmm, kind of funny, isn't it? Pretty, pretty big coincidence. And then all of a sudden, their bridges got stronger. I don't know, man. Seems pretty, uh... It's quite the coincidence. Oh, and then, oh, look at this. A couple hundred years later, the engineers had to consult with the the devil to build these bridges. You mean they consulted the underworld and the vibrations that go on in the underworld to make sure they built the bridges in the right places so the bridges didn't aren't in like high vibration earth areas because of the, the marching and even just the city's layout and everything? Oh, what a surprise. Hmm. Wow, they consulted with the devil. You mean they consulted with the underworld? Got it. He looks more like a teak kind of guy. I know Graham Hancock said it. Absolutely wrong. Milo, did you do your own research or did you just accoutrement to the tip? I don't we, even know what that means. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. <sighs> no, it's not. It's it gets gross. the people it, going. It's it's disgusting. Disgusting. That's enough. I think these things are, um, as the our illustrious congresswoman says, a sign from God. God is sending us signals that America needs to repent. You don't repent and pay tribute to your nearest king. God won't make your lands bountiful or send an earthquake or not even like a couple weeks before I start talking about this, and they're already out there claiming If you it. aren't capable Earth of believing, I think that's five. rude. Especially up to level five, so... You got one side telling you it's God, ass. you got the other side telling you it's I'm nature, of neither of which you can do anything about. Why the fuck would we? It's really simple. Our culture does not demand pyramid. There's just no reason to. We have no purpose for the pyramids or otherwise uh, accoutrement to the pyramids. If you don't know it, this technology I've been trying to teach everyone about is possible or capable of doing. Listen, buddy, you don't need any pyramids. I've seen the evidence. Don't think about what comes after or what came before. And, and we are going to... Needs to worry about own country and frankly you know just keep consuming and consuming and consuming and you know we can all dance on the grave of the planet later who gives a fuck drinking to the downfall of humanity don't worry about it though just nature it God. is being proven it it's is does that look like no fucking purpose for the pyramid to you i don't appreciate that type just of language ridiculous i think i rest my case i do think it's very funny though watching archaeology clearly have one source for all of their information just listen to graham hancock once graham hancock said this seems kind of crazy and then just you know parroting the reason we haven't built any pyramids is we have no purpose for them anymore that one over and over again and clearly not doing any more digging into any physics basic wave mechanics harmonics and resonances of a guitar string and any other vibrating object does graham hancock look like a fucking physicist to you no no it doesn't i know and clearly not doing any more digging into any particular topic oh what a surprise hmm just ridiculous but we're going to be getting into the bass pro shops pyramid because there's something there that even <laughs> hasn't discovered. They didn't have the luxury of the satellites that we have today that prove that- Butterfly effect be crazy. Anyway, come on. That's lame, dude. <laughs> First I thought this guy was crazy, but then I thought to myself, what if he's onto something? Why well, I decided to ask some questions about the Bass Pro Pyramid and what I learned will horrify you. The pyramid is a collapse of the Soviet Union. Clinton, it's all connected, all disconnected. They want the truth to be out there. I did my research and what I found is something that they wanted to keep hidden. After, after I made this video, there's some very powerful people after me. But I published all of my findings on YouTube before it's too late. Hey Milo, what's going on over there, man? You're expelling a lot of energy to- Make it seem like this stuff is a little crazy and there's nothing connected, but you're just smearing it and connecting it to Bill Clinton and the fall of the Soviet Union. What, 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 why are you doing this, bud? Like, 
I've, I've tagged you in some of this stuff. I know you're, you should be seeing the, these posts. Like, I'm, there's real physics behind some of this stuff. But why, why are you expelling all this energy to do this? It seems weird, especially when you claim to be a real, I think, geologist or geographer or thought you were a scientist of some sort, but now you're just doing satire to smear what possibly real physics? Cap. No way. Bullshit. Absolutely fucking not. Now, I've come across this theory a lot, and you get a lot of these kind of TikTok conspiracy shills talking about The reason we haven't built any pyramids is not because we can't, it's because we have no purpose for them. This is also where you can tell that archaeology has no background in basic wave mechanics and physics. And just listen to Graham Hancock once. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, well that's the end of thank god. Which means now we get to talk about something really fun, like the pyramids in Antarctica. Why would there be a pyramid in Antarctica? I'm gonna briefly explain Nikola Tesla's non-dispersive concept. Well, the UPS truck is here, that's exciting. That is almost so nice, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm, I'm, I'm so stoked about the UPS truck being here that I'm even gonna talk about that pyramid anymore, because frankly, uh, it makes me wanna, uh... God, this guy drives me fucking Google debunkers. And secondly, holy shit, what the fuck? Honestly, that's kind of a powerful purpose for the pyramids. <laughs> I thought you said, listen, buddy, you don't need any pyramids. I'm gonna bludgeon myself over the head with this bottle so I can be thinking on the same level as you. It's less of a matter of did people reach Antarctica and more of a matter of if they did, they would have wanted nothing to do with it. It is a cold, barren, desolate place with almost no food. Antarctica is a terrible place. No human would want to live in Antarctica. Parts of the year, there's literally no sunlight. There's no wood. Like, there's just no reason to be there. God, why didn't they colonize the worst place on the planet? If they did, they didn't fucking stay there. So this theory is predicated on the fact that, God, ancient people were losers. Where the fuck is the evidence for that? And yet they did it. Yeah. <laughs> What a bunch of dumbasses. You know what? That's a good point. I'll, I'll agree with that. But let's do a little critical thinking here. We kind of missed the mark on that one. <sighs> That's kind of crazy. But you didn't even find- Anyway, I, j I just needed to come in to add that because I kept watching this video and every time I came to this part, I'm like, if I don't mention the part about the snow, people not gonna make sense. Anyway, okay, that's all I have to say. So, do you think that it's more likely that uh, people never found Antarctica or- I just read a great book called Wager. Uh, are so fucking dangerous. There's no reason for people to want to go down there. Ice caps. I also think it's really funny that he says, why didn't we go there in wooden ships? I think I think that where conspiracy theorists get the whole it was them vaguely remembering a kind of interesting book they read when they were a kid that talked about ice. Ow, post editing Milo here. What the fuck is this about? I want to quickly add something. During an ice age, it's a lot colder, so a lot of the precipitation is snow instead of rain. A glacier forms from layers upon layers of snowfall. And so as the snow piles up layer after layer, it eventually creates an immense amount of weight. And under all that weight, the snow is compressed into ice. This is why it'd be really hard for an ice sheet to connect Antarctica to Latin America, because the snowfall is ending up in the ocean. Okay, well, two things to note here. First and foremost, we are at the end of an ice age. So people talk about sea level rise from climate change. The place that all that water is coming from is Antarctica. Whereas 6,000 years ago on the South Pole, the snowfall would rise a bunch. Because because it's all on an actual landmass, that ice does not contribute to the height of the oceans. 6,000 years ago, the ocean sea level was like 100, 300 feet. So at the bottom of the planet, the continent snowfall was landing on land, allowing the layers to accumulate and the glaciers to proceed much farther. Talk about pseudo-archaeology and pseudoscience a lot, because God knows these videos are a dime a dozen. The pseudoscience pipeline, a pipeline that the algorithm of these apps literally encourages. Cap. No way. Bullshit. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Honestly, I don't want to silence. <laughs> Because this, it's fucking job security. The nice thing about what I do for a living is that as long as there is stupid people, I can pay my fucking mortgage. The butterfly effect be crazy. Anyway, come, come on. That's lame, dude. He just states it like it's facts. Okay, you smug son of a bitch. Because Google told them. Whoa, Milo, but you're, you're coming down on him. You're trying to silence him. It's wrong like a bunch of fucking nerds. Maybe you should have Googled it. And then you wouldn't have had to make a video where he just puts on this persona of being like the smug, cold heart fact kind of guy. Frankly, I think this part that he's putting forward online is kind of a douche. It's like, it's like we're really going to trigger some people today. But you kind of get the character that we're working with here. No, I'm not trying to silence Milo. I'm literally just trying to do his own physics research for him. And so because he's gaining his physics input from Ancient Apocalypse and then Scram Hancock on Joe Rogan, two people who do a terrible job of representing wave mechanics. He thinks he knows what physics stands for, which is absolute bullshit. And I want to make clear that the difference between studying harmonics and resonances of a guitar string and any other vibrating object. Whole life and what these people are doing is that Milo speaking like they are an authority figure, like they know better than us. Now, I actually do have some pretty immense respect for Milo, but fully disagree with the things that he's saying. The reason we haven't built any pyramids is we have no purpose for them anymore. I do appreciate the fact that he can actually try and postulate his theories and, you know, actually try and back them up with evidence. I don't think his evidence is very good, but at least he's engaged 
engaging in the scientific method, you know? But you kind of miss out on all the nuance, and instead all you get is like a frat bro, gatekeeper of archaeology, can be as interested in archaeology as you want, but don't fucking talk about physics. You kind of just end up looking like a goober. And now we put it all together. Here's Philo, both smug and wrong.